Once upon a time, there were five occupational therapy students who learned. In the San Bernardino area, 26% of high schoolers do not graduate. Nearly 13% are unemployed. 36.5% live below the property level. The crime rate is nearly as high as Los Angeles, and there are 10 times more murders in this area in comparison to the rest of California. These students were taught that an environment affects an individual. This is what is seen and what is experienced. This made the students sad, but then they were happy because they had a plan. These students knew about occupational function, which allows a person to perform and organize themselves in order to perform tasks, or to adapt one's behavior, to maintain function in society. They also knew about occupational balance, which is a rhythm between being and doing. The being, or one's role, like being a mom, and the doing, like playing tennis while still being a mom. These students knew that they had to address the psychosocial needs of the community before they could address any other problems. As OTs, they wanted to help this group emotionally cope so that they could increase their function. These OTs realized they needed to work directly in the community to provide skilled dialogue in order to evoke certain emotions to meet the underlying psychosocial needs. The emotions they wanted to target were a sense of peace, hope, and fulfillment. How are they going to accomplish this? Through art, or more specifically, paintings. The students were not going to help the community create art, but instead have pre-made art as a therapeutic tool. The girls decided to create their own art based off of research studies concerning facts for colors, images, and the spacing of those images. This information guided the girls on what images to use, where to place the images, and what colors would evoke the emotions they were targeting. Looking at the San Bernardino area, the girls wanted to impact the current environment. They wanted to provide a positive opportunity to improve functional outcome that comes from experiencing positive art accompanied by skilled dialogue that the girls would be providing. The statistics and research studies used to create this art would give the girls a competitive edge against the art walks, art galleries, or other artists in the area. The girls would then contact all the community centers in the area to set up free sessions for anyone and everyone who wanted to come. The free sessions at the community center would include showing the art, explaining the statistics used to create the art, the emotions that were to be provoked through the art, and different ways to cope with different emotions. A small version of the session's art will also be given to each participant. Santos and Company hopes to one day provide their services to nursing homes and hospitals within the community. In addition to our skilled dialogue services, we would offer our art to fit any size on any wall.